How's it going, everybody? Rye Red here today, and we are back with your Colorado Rockies here in the NLDS. And guys, at this point, I'd say we're playing with house money. Uh, in the wild card round, I was about 50-50. Like, I was thinking we should get through. 50% of me was like, if we don't, it's okay. Now that we're in the NLDS against the two-seeded Miami Marlins, I mean, it, it's just really one of those that I didn't think we'd get here. 50% of me didn't. Um, and and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with whatever happens in this series. Let's just have some fun in this one and... and um, Hopefully put on a good show and put up a fight. If we make it through, it's a Cinderella story, absolutely. Um, but I, I just think right now that um, I just want to have fun in this series. I'm not going to take it too hard if we end up losing the series. But for now, I'm I'm excited to get into the series against Miami. And they look like they got a pretty good squad, although it doesn't look like the craziest craziest team in the world they got Geraldo Perdomo being their leadoff guy that's I mean he's a good contact guy solid vision uh then they've got Jose Azokar. I mean against righty sure against lefties the Ramon Laureano is is playing so um if we get freed back up then you know we'll have to see that but right now I think all we have are righties so this is the lineup we're gonna see most of the time Luis Arraiz uh is really really good I mean that contact is crazy the vision is crazy the clutch is crazy I mean He's insane. He batted 282 this year, 314 last year. RBIs were solid. Actually hit some home runs this year. The power did grow. Um, you got to love that if you're a Marlins fan. But honestly, just a really solid contact hitter. And then they got Jazz Chisholm, who against righties is really good. Uh, the one thing that we can hope for is that the vision and the discipline are, are, are you know, the drawback, right? Uh, but he batted 312 this year with over 109 RBIs. That is it's wild. Lords Guriel Jr., uh, a really, really good hitter here. 75, 80 against righties. Vision up at 82. The contact against lefties, too. Uh, Man Manuel Machado, uh, not Manny Machado, 22-year-old um, here. It threw me for a loop for a second. Uh, in the 60s, you know, we've seen this kind of player generate all the time. A very, very solid hitter all around. Uh, nothing too special. Then Isaac Paredes. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he's fine at third. He's, you know, got a good fielding. Poor arm, though, so maybe we can get that. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Jordan Groshans and then Jose Trevino is the catcher. So, honestly, the team the team looks all right. It's it's not a bad team. For the number two seed in, in the conference, I would have expected something... Or for, or for the league, not the conference. Anyway, I would have expected a little bit something more intimidating, unless their pitching is where it gets intimidating. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where it gets intimidating. And they've got a fully rested Yori Perez, Sandy Alcantara, Edwin Cabrera, Drew Rasmussen, and Jesus Lazardo. Wow, that is nasty. And then their bullpen's even so good. And then Jose Alvarado, their closer. Um, oh my God, they traded for him last year. This is why this is this is a this yeah that that's that's what I should be afraid of is their pitching. So hopefully our bats can come alive um and we can do something against Miami here. It is Soroka versus Perez though for game number 1. Let's jump into it. Let's quick manage. Like I said guys, I'm not going to be too upset if if we get just completely shut down, completely dominated. If we put up any kind of fight, I'm going to be pretty pleased. Um and, and I think you know maybe we can steal a game or two. I think we do have the roster to do so. We've got really good hitters uh and we've got a really well-rounded roster. We may not have as many stars like the Jazz Chisholms and the Lords Guriel, but you know we're, we're pretty solid all the way around with Langston and Rogers and Verdugo and you know Ryan McMahon and you know it, yeah maybe it's not as good but I, I'm, I still love this team and I, I'm still hopeful uh, that we can do something here so game one of the NLDS Josh Rojas singles beautiful Nolan Jones pops up Doogie singles Langston grounds out. We got runners at second and third. Come on, Brendan Rogers. He strikes out. Just at least put it in play. Make him make a play, but that's all right. Uh, we get a couple hits early, which is nice to see. Uh, Perdomo grounds out. Azokar singles. Oh, man, he's got speed. He steals the base. Arise grounds out. Chisholm flies out. Beautiful. So that's honestly, that's good. I, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, now Ryan McMahon lines out. Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo, he really hasn't been good in the postseason, has he? Tovar walks. Harry Ford grounds into a fielder's choice. Guriel grounds out. Manuel Machado grounds out. And then Isaac Paredes grounds out. All right. Uh, Josh Rojas has not really hit well leading off so far in the postseason. But throughout, he's one for one today. He's going to ground out there. Nolan Jones grounds out. Doogie singles. 
Ben Langston strikes out. That's all right. So it's a quiet three innings. This is kind of what I expected facing their ace in Perez. Uh, Groshans grounds out. Trevino grounds out. Perdomo singles. Azokar singles. Arise walks. Chisholm, it's a grand freaking slam. Of course he does. Of course he does. A single, a walk, a throw. Oh my God, I, I'm pulling him. I'm pulling him. Go on in, Ian Anderson. Get the strikeout. I mean, I, I I thought, you know, I don't I didn't want to pull him in the third inning, but he just completely imploded there. Soroka was up to the challenge. I was just about to say he's up to the challenge of facing Perez, but he absolutely was not. Now we're down by seven. Ryan McMahon singles. Joey Gallo is 167 in six at bats. He strikes out. Tovar flies out. Trevino singles. Perdomo singles. Then we get the fly out. Arise. Grounds into a double play. All right. So he gets out of it with no run score, but this is going to be a hairy first game. Speaking of Harry, he's going to ground out. Josh Rojas pops up and Nolan Jones grounds out. Jazz Chisholm, who's one for two today with a home run, is going to strike out. Beautiful. Lord Curiel is going to hit the solo shot. Manuel Machado gets on base and they ground into a double play. I'm not going to... I'm probably not going to focus too hard on this one anymore ian anderson can continue to pitch trevino singles perdomo walks azokar walks uh, i don't really want to use too many of my pitchers they're gonna score a run they're gonna score a run and a double play it it really does guys at this point it doesn't matter um just just we just need to get through this game into something that can a solo shot from rojas Woo! yay we didn't get shut out a triple um swing away a run scored by doogie all right Come on, Langston, singles. Let's see it. Brandon Rogers grounds into a fielder's choice. McMahon's hit a sack fly. We're only down by seven. And then Joey Gallo strikes out. We're going to go to a pitching change here. And we will go with Gilbreth um, just because at the bottom of the eighth. It, we're down by seven. A ground out, a ground out, and a ground out. They're going to now bring in Lucas Sims, Cincinnati Reds' former pitcher. Uh, he pitched pretty well for them. He's pitched well this whole uh, this whole series as well. Harry Ford walks, Rojas singles, Nolan Jones strikes out, and Doogie strikes out. So we end up losing 10 to 3. Guys, I wanted to be competitive. I, I said I didn't really care about uh <laughs> about if we win the series, but can we at least be competitive? I mean, we were until Soroka just imploded in the third. Um, we got Flaherty pitching today. Uh, against Alcantara. It's not a great matchup again. We're another day away from Giolito coming back. So that's pretty nice to see. Do I want to go with Clifford Murdoch? No, I'm going to go with Jack Flaherty. We'll see what he does. We'll see what Flaherty does. Um, uh, you guys have mentioned in the comment section that he should probably be on his way out, walk, uh, and have Alec Manoa uh, come be the starting pitcher. And I kind of agree with you there. So um, we'll see what he can do for us. Maybe his postseason, he, maybe he can be a hero here and, you know, we get a perfect game from him. I don't know. Uh, but Josh Rojas flies out. Nolan Jones grounds out. Doogie strikes out. A solo shot. He's got infinite ERA and infinite whip. Ah, Azokar flies out. Arise singles. Chisholm, oh, doubles, but the runner's thrown out at home. Guriel Jr. walks. And then a fly out. Man, this Miami team is just, they, they, they're hot right now. Now, we're not throwing our best pitchers, obviously, but they're just, everything's going right for them right now. Ben Langston with a good single, a double play there from Brandon Rogers. Ryan McMahon grounds out. Paredes is going to single, sack bunt gets him over. Trevino flies out. Perdomo is going to score the runner with a single and then a strikeout. So back-to-back -back innings with a run for Miami, and they now have a two-run lead. Joey Gallo strikes out. Tovar flies out. Ford, solo shot from Ford. Love to see that. We're back in it. Josh Rojas walks. Nolan Jones Breaches on an error. We'll take it. Make him pay. Base is loaded for Ben Langston. He's going to fly out. No. Oh, my God. I was really hopeful for something there. We needed to bring at least one home and tie the game. Arise is going to walk. Chisholm walks. Double play. We set that up, baby. Let's go. Machado is going to score a run on a single. And then he was caught stealing. So, Brennan Rogers not hitting well in the postseason at all 143 on 14 at bats he's gonna ground out ryan mcmahon flies out joey gallo i mean he's one for 10 in the postseason guys this is pretty brutal he is gonna draw a walk though tovar pops up Ugh, flaherty gets a ground out from paredes groshan flies out and trevino strikes out harry ford can you do another one for us he's gonna single i'll take it uh let's hit and run he's gonna ground out but we don't ground into a double play Nolan Jones singles, 
and we have runners at the corners. Uh, can we sack fly from Doogie? We are going to get the sack fly there, and we are back within one. Ben Langston's two-run shot, and there we go. He couldn't do it with the bases loaded, but he does it after the sack fly from Verdugo. And we are in the lead, boys. All right, Brendan Rodgers grounds out. Now I really have to think about things here. Six hits a piece, a really good inning. Flaherty, we'll see what he's got. He's going to strike him out. Perdomo to start. Azokar walks. Arise walks. And I think it's time to change pitchers. Uh, I'm going to go to Lawrence, Justin Lawrence. He's going to issue another walk. A fielder's choice there at home plate, too. That keeps us in the lead. And Machado pops up. And we stay in the lead. Thank you, Justin Lawrence. Ryan McMahon grounds out. Joey, Gallo, do I do I bench Joey Gallo mid game here? <sighs> Maybe I should. Ah, uh, he's not playing the next one. I can tell you that much. Paredes flies out. Groshans strikes out. And Trevino grounds out. Thank you, Lawrence. All right. Harry Ford is now going to face Yancy Almonte. I remember this guy, Yancy, uh, very very good pitcher for us with Boston. Just not good when there's runners in scoring position. So let's get somebody in, runner, in scoring position. Josh Rojas walks. Uh, can we hit and run? He steals the base. Beautiful. Nolan Jones strikes out. Doogie grounds out. So he got somebody in scoring position, but it didn't matter. All right. We're in the seventh inning. This will be Lawrence. I think his... Yeah, this will be like his... Th oh, cancel. Um, this will be his third inning. So we got to be careful here. Azokar strikes out. Arise flies out. Chisholm grounds out. All right. So he allows the leadoff double... But they strand him at second. Ben Langston, who's our, who's hot today, is now going to face Reynaldo Lopez. Okay. Uh, he's going to fly out. Brandon Rogers pops up. Ryan McMahon strikes out. I think we're going to go to a pitching change. I'm going to bring in Folly. Folly was good for us. So we're going uh, to bring him in. He gets the ground out of Guriel. Machado grounds out. Paredes pops up. Beautiful. Come on, Joey. You're 0 oh, 9 1. He's now going to face Lucas Sims. He's going to strike out. Tovar flies out. Harry Ford walks. Uh, can we hit and run? A single with a run. Oh, okay. Uh, swing away, Jones. He strikes out. But we are going to pitching change. We are going to go to uh, Tyler Motzek, who is our closer. And we're going to jump in and see if we can close this game out. And a broken bat sees Langston have to go get it. Flips it behind the back to the pitcher, Ben Langston. What was that? Oh, my God. Last year's Rookie of the Year with a sick behind the back flip to the pitcher. What? What is that defensive play? Oh, my goodness. And that gets us one out here in the bottom of the ninth. And we have worked a 2-2 count. Our catcher wants a curveball. Let's see if we can drop it below the zone. And then we get the swing and the miss. It was in the zone. But we get Jose Trevino to swing and miss on the curve. And we're one out away from tying the series here in Miami. Stealing one on the road would be massive for our chances. An 0-2 count now. They're down to their final strike. Can we try the curveball again? Ooh, we did perfect time it, but it did not drop anywhere near the zone and he didn't swing on it and a swing and a miss on the back door slider and there we go your Colorado Rockies have tied the series we win game number two in Miami we head back to Colorado with a tied series on our hands a big game two win a huge response after a 10 to 3 loss a 4-3 win Flaherty pitched well he didn't pitch long enough though to get the decision here only four and a third uh, the ERA is 6-2-3. Actually, I guess it wasn't that great. Uh, but the bullpen, Florence, Foley, and Matzek, they came in and shut it down, guys. No earned runs there from anybody in the bullpen, and you'll love to see it. Uh, and we now have a chance, if we just win our home games, uh, not, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say much more than that. And San Francisco's given LA uh, a run for their money. It is 1-1 over there in that series as well, but it's now Edward Cabrera versus Lucas Giolito. We have our two best pitchers now pitching on home turf. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna. Ch I I'm. I'm benching Joey Gallo just because he's been so cold. I'm gonna give Zach Veen an opportunity. Uh, we're gonna go with Giolito. Freed is close, uh, but Giolito is ready. Joey Gallo there and left. I mean, guys, he's batting. He, I mean, 083. I mean, nobody else is even under 100. I mean, I know Brendan Rodgers has not hit well. Uh, I should probably move McMahon up then. Uh, I probably want to give those guys a chance. But Joey Gallo out.
Uh, and we're facing a right-handed pitcher, maybe Jonathan Daza? Do I want to give Daza the opportunity? I feel like I want to give it to Veen. I, I, I want to give him some postseason action. Uh, I'm going to give Zach Veen the opportunity there in the left. Nolan Jones is going to continue to play in right because he's got that ridiculous arm. Alex Verdugo is going to stay at center. So, yeah, Zach Veen at left. Um, and with that 63, 61, I think that's fine. Uh, Daza with the 83 contact is great and 89 vision. I just want to give it to the youngster. I want to give it to Zach Veen. See what he's got. You know, get some energy injected into this, this lineup. So here we go. Perdomo now leads it off for Miami. He's going to get strike out. Uh, Jose Azokar strikes out. Arise, flies out. Beautiful. All right, Josh Rojas has been good this series. Can continue. He strikes out here. Nolan Jones singles there we go doogie walks ben langston flies out mcmahon i moved him up and it works out he singles and brings home nolan jones from second base we now have doogie at second mcmahon at first brandon rogers now at the plate is gonna walk zach veen come on let's see it he's gonna strike out oh man could you imagine if he hit a grand slam in that moment oh i would have felt so vindicated and he never would have come out of the lineup ever again <laughs> jazz chisel now he's gonna single guriel strikes out machado is gonna double but we throw out chisel at home who threw him out who threw him out? Come on. Zach Veen threw him out. Let's go, baby. Zach Veen throws out <laughs> Jazz Chisholm at home plate. Let's go. You'll love to see it. Paredes grounds out. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Tovar strikes out. Ford triples. Uh, Rojas strikes out on the attempted sack fly and a fly out there. I just wanted to get the insurance marker, guys. One more run would have been huge. Uh, but unfortunately, we, Rojas could not uh, just put the ball in play. Groshans grounds out. Trevino pops up. Perdomo strikes out. Doogie singles. Langston strikes out. McMahon singles. Brennan Rogers grounds into a fielder's choice. Veen, come on. He is going to line out and does not score the runner from third. Azokar grounds out. Arise singles. Chisholm walks. Guriel hits a three run bomb. Machado grounds out. Paredes strikes out. And just like that, Miami has a two-run lead. And this is what happens when you leave men on base, especially in scoring position. Tovar grounds out. Ford hit by pitch. Uh, hit and run. Runner thrown out at home. Oh, my goodness. We almost, almost scored him from first. And now with two outs, a walk issued to Nolan Jones. Doogie flies out. And I know you guys have kind of criticized the hit and run at times. I just felt like with that speed, if we can get anything on it, we might be able to get him to third or home. Just didn't want a double play there. And unfortunately, he was thrown out at home plate. Uh, he, Groshen starts the inning with a walk. Trevino grounds with a double play. And Perdomo grounds out. Huge. All right, Ben Langston. He strikes out. Ryan McMahon singles. Brandon Rogers strikes out. Zach Veen walks. Okay. That's fine by me. We got a runner in scoring position now. Tovar can't bring him home. We're now in the top of the sixth, down by two. Azokar walks. Arise strikes out. Uh, pick off first. He's safe. Pick him off again. He's safe. Chisholm grounds him into a double play. That's what we love to see. All right, Harry Ford grounds out. Rojas. Ooh, he's he, Cabrera's energy is low. A single there from Rojas. No, Oh, Nolan Jones is now going to face Sixto Sanchez, the starting pitcher with, eh, you know, average stamina. So I can understand why he would be their long reliever. Just not sure why they're bringing him in now. Gets a strikeout from Jones and Doogie grounds into fielder's choice. So that's probably why. Guriel grounds out. Machado triples. Paredes walks. A fielder's choice there. One more batter and a ground out. Okay, I saw his energy getting real low, but I thought, you know, if I could just get him through the seventh, that would be huge. Ben Langston now is going to fly out. Ryan McMahon pops up. Brennan Rogers doubles. Sixto Sanchez is a righty. Okay. Um, Zach Veen scores the run on the single, and he's one for three today with a walk and a huge RBI there. Um, hit and run ground out. Yeah, I figured uh, we had two outs anyway. I thought maybe we could just get a, a deep single. Maybe Veen could get home with that 72 speed. Oh, we are going to pitching change. I'm going to go to Folly. Jason Folly was good for us last game. Perdomo pops up. Azokar pops up and Arise pops up a bunch of pop ups. All right, Harry Ford. Let's see it. Uh, we're going to face AJ Puck, Puck, Puke, Puke, Puke. I don't know. AJ. 
Uh, issues a walk to Harry Ford. Can we steal second? He steals second. We now have a runner in scoring position. A run is scored now thanks to the steal. And we are tied. Josh Rojas is at first. Jones pops up. Doogie strikes out. Ben Langston grounds out. And now we're at the top of the ninth. Tied game. Oh, man. I'm, I think I'm going to pitch it. Fly out. And then I maybe jump into the bottom. A single. A fly out. He stole the base. A walk. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I, I'm entering the game. It's one out, and then we have a chance here uh, to to get up to the plate. Back to back strikes, and we have an opportunity to punch him out here. On three pitches, ah, high, and he's not gonna go after it. Our catcher wants another slider. I'm gonna go low and away with the slider. That's how I got the second strike. He's gonna hit that thing foul. Oh my God, that could have made it play at the plate. Uh, we're gonna go sinker down and in, and hopefully get him to swing over the top of it. Oh, he swings, but he is able to hit that one. Uh, they, he wants a, a fastball. We're going to go up and in with the fastball. He's going to pop it up, and Ben Langston is there. No behind the back stuff this time, Ben. Thank you. And we are now headed to the bottom of the ninth, where who is due up? It looks like McMahon is due up. McMahon, Rogers, and Veen. Oh, boy. Let's jump in and see how we do at the plate. And a little base hit down the third base line from Ryan McMahon. I was late on the low fastball, but it doesn't matter. We get it in play and a first pitch hit. We now have the winning run at first base. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go to manager substitutions. I'm going to substitute McMahon for hopefully somebody faster. Junior, probably Junior Caminero. He's got 78 speed. Um, it is the bottom of the ninth in a tie game. So, I mean... Yeah, Junior Caminero can play for the, the, the position, too, if we do end up going into extras. But here we go. Brandon Rogers now up at the plate. And, oh, man, hold on. Do I want to Do I wanna substitute Brandon Rogers too? Uh, we're facing a right-handed pitcher, so his 75 contact is not bad. Do I want to go with... I mean, it's not that much of an upgrade to go with uh, Jonathan Daza, and I might be doing too much if I if I do that. So you know what? We're not going to substitute him. That's the only sub we're going to make. Let's see. Can Brandon Rogers come up clutch? And I'm going to pop that up. A fastball that was should have been just crushed and a terrible, terrible time to just pop it up and miss it. Wow, is that, is that Machado just standing there? Blank expression, absolutely no emotion on his face. He's here to just, it, all business. But now Zach Veen is up at the plate. One for three today with a single and RBI. Do, can we get another RBI? That would be massive. And he is going to miss and walks him. It was an 0-2 count. And there is a walk drawn after the steal with now runners at first and second base. Ezekiel Tovar. 0 for 2 today. He's got 92 clutch, though. 92 clutch. Let's see if we can put that into action. On the 2-2 count, we hit one deep to center field. Is That, gonna, that is going to be enough to get him to third, though. Caminero is now at third base. Two outs though. That means we need a single. A single should do it. If, it, if it's a hit to the if it's a ball hit to the outfield, then it drops. Or if it even gets through the infield. I mean, we. We just need a single. We need a hit. Right now, we need a hit. And Harry Ford here, uh, does he, he's got 55 clutch, 60 power. Uh, I may look to substitute him. Um, let's see, Daza, 98 clutch from Daza. Oh, not, or excuse me, Grichuk's 98 clutch. Uh, would mean his contact's 98. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to have to go here. It makes the most sense. Or Grichuk. God, I keep calling him Daza. Grichuk with his 98 clutch now. There it is. 76 vision, 98 clutch, 76 speed, and situational hitter perk. Whoo, okay, let's see, let's see. Can we get something? Can we, come on. It's the bottom of the ninth, two outs. This is huge. And we're going to get a hit. It's going in the outfield. The And it's going to be a home run. It's a walk-off home run for Randall Grichuk. 
It's a home run. It's out of here. That thing flew. This left fielder, the way he didn't move at first, I got really worried. I was like, there's no way. It's I'm like, that felt that felt like a good hit. Didn't feel like a home run, but we got the thin air here in Colorado, and we walk it off, and it's going to be a 6-3 win. We come from behind, and we are going to take a series lead of 2-1 to one with another game at home coming up with Max Freed. Gonna be the starting pitcher for us. We'll see who's start, starting for them. It might be their number four. We may have a serious uh, advantage when it comes to uh, pitching next game. But man, bringing in Grichuk, situational hitter perk, crushes that thing over the left fielder's head. And I mean, that thing is long gone. There is no doubt about that one. Winning the game gives us a 2-1 series lead with a chance to close it out at home and in fact it will be their fourth starter it is drew rasmussen now they're a team with a very deep starting rotation but we have one of our two aces up there our left-handed ace at matt with max freed we're gonna quick manage and i'm gonna make the same uh substitution again i'm gonna bench uh no we're gonna use max freed excuse me but i am gonna bench joey gallo and i think i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring in zach veen although it's kind of tough to not bring in grichuk uh, they, it is a righty, I, so, I mean, I guess Jonathan Daza could as well with his great contact. His clutch, his discipline's only 49. Veen is a very well-rounded hitter. It worked out last time. I'm not going to make too many changes from the last game. Um, our hitting was good and our defense was fine, so um, let, let, let's jump into that. Freed versus Rasmussen. I believe Rasmussen's like an 85, but here we go. Freed starts us off with a ground out. Guriel, ground out. Arise, fly out. Beautiful. Rojas has been really, really hot this series. Now up to 350s is batting average. He hits a leadoff double. Nolan Jones is going to strike out. Uh, hit and run. A ground out, but we get him over to third. Ben Langston walks. I don't know why it looked like he just got out. Ryan McMahon grounds into a fielder's choice. I should have done the hit and run sooner just to get him to third with only one away. A strikeout there for Jazz Chisholm. A pop-up for Garrett Cooper. And a fly-out for Paredes. Love to see it early. Three. Brennan Rogers strikes out. Three. Veen strikes out. Tovar flies out. Loriano's going to ground out. Machado singles. Hey. Trevino, uh, okay. Machado steals the base. A pop-up. Perdomo reaches on an error. Guriel is going to fly out. So the error and the stolen base don't come back to bite us. Harry Ford now is going to pop up. Josh Rojas doubles again. Hit and run. He's caught stealing. No. Oh, I should have just swung. Should have just swung. And that's that's it. That's out. That's the end of the inning. All right. Top of the fourth. A ground out. Jazz Chisholm singles. Pick off first. Safe. Garrett Cooper grounds into a double play. There we go. I feel like whenever I think there's somebody that's going to have a chance to steal, I should probably just pick off. Uh, fly out there for Doogie. Langston flies out. And Ryan McMahon is going to double. Brennan Rogers grounds out. Paredes now strikes out. Loriano flies out. Machado grounds out, and Freed is having a great game. A classic Freed. We need to get to Drew Rasmussen a bit more, though. You know, his energy's still pretty high. The whip of only one, right? We got to get to him. Veen's going to fly out. Tovar singles. Ford strikes out. Rojas grounds out. That's, I mean, we got to a little bit. We got another hit. Jose Trevino flies out. Perdomo grounds out. Guriel grounds out. Man, Guriel scares me every time he's up at the plate. Nolan Jones now has been poor, but I, I trust him, man. He's one of our best players. He's going to strike out. Doogie is going to walk. Ben Langston reaches on an error. It's even now with the errors. Can we capitalize on it? McMahon grounds into a double play. He had, five, he had a batting average of 500 so far uh, in the postseason before that at bat, too. Now into the seventh, Freed still looking good. A single there from Arise, a single there from Chisholm, a sacrifice bunt. Yeah, that's fine. Pitch around him. A uh, run is scored. <sighs> Shit. Uh, we wa he walked him home. A run is scored. I need to change pitchers. Son of a no. A strikeout. A run is scored on the walk and a ground out before they were able to hit around, but they score three. I trusted Freed. Oh, man. They score three in the top of the seventh. A solo shot from Brandon Rogers. Okay, we're still in it. Veen flies out. Tovar singles. He's going to steal second. There we go. Harry Ford grounds out. 
Rojas strikes out. So we had him in scoring position, but we couldn't bring him home there to cut the lead to one. Arise is going to single a fly out there from Chisholm. Cooper walks. Paredes flies out. Loriano walks. A run is scored on a single and a fly out. So they now have a three run lead. Nolan Jones is going to single. Doogie is now going to face woo, AJ. AJ, okay. A single there. All right. Uh, Langston swing, a double play. No, that's what we couldn't afford was a double play right there. I mean, I, I wanted to swing just to see, see if we could get something, but all right, McMahon line out. Yeah, I, I had him swing. I, sh I should have sack flied, but you know, I wanted to not give up an out with the potential to, you know, get on base or put something in play or it to be a sack fly anyway. Um, dang it. All right, Justin Lawrence, I need to change pitchers, but we'll go with Gilbreth. Perdomo strikes out. Guriel solo shot. That's what I was afraid of. Arise grounds out and Chisholm walks. Coop and he was caught stealing. Okay, so they're going to change to Yancy Almonte here. I'm not going to jump in. We're down by four. That's a ton. Strike out there. Veen pops up. Tovar flies out. 0 for 4 for Veen today. A very, very bad uh, day for Veen. Uh, and I may not bring him uh, into the next game here. This is a huge game. This is game five of the NLDS, guys. Soroka versus Perez. Soroka, I need you to not collapse again, my guy. I just need you to not collapse. We gave everything we could to get the last one to win it at home. Uh, but unfortunately, we're going to have to go back for an, a do or die game five. So Joey Gallo, I'm going to bench him for uh, Jonathan Daza. Yeah, his vision and his you know his clutch is good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Jonathan Daza out there and left. Uh, Jonathan Daza now can move up for Brendan Rogers. Uh, yeah, I want Ben Langston there. I think Ryan McMahon, actually. McMahon, then Daza, then, yeah, Rogers, Tovar, Harry Ford. Yeah, you know what? Brendan Rogers, I want him at nine. Just maybe we can get a, a leadoff guy. Like, you know, see what we can do there. All right, Rojas grounds out. Nolan Jones pops up. Doogie flies out. Perdomo grounds out. Azokar singles. Uh, pick him off. Pitch, a single. Pitch, a fly out. A three-run home run. Machado lines out. It's okay. It's, it's early. I mean, it's not good to be in a three-run deficit, but it's early. Ben Langston flies out. McMahon is hit by a pitch. Daza grounds into a double play. A solo shot from Paredes, and oh no, a walk, a fly out. A st How did he steal the base? How? Game log. Was it a wild pitch? What? He broke for second base? Uh... With zero steal and 20 speed? Come on, Harry Ford. I need you to do something. Need you to, I need you to be better than you can. I mean, he's really not that bad either as a defender. <sighs> Harry Ford pops up. Tovar pops up. Brennan Rogers pops up. Arise singles. A strikeout for Chisholm. Guriel, double play. Okay. Rojas walks. Jones singles. Doogie strikes out. Langston scores a run on the single. That's huge. Just get one. Let's get to him, boys. Ryan McMahon scores a run on the single. We're now down by two. Jonathan Daza walks. Uh, Harry Ford go for the sack fly, and it's going to drop. And we are now within one. Tovar, sack fly. He flies out. Brennan Rogers scores the run on a walk. Oh, wow. Okay, we, we're around. Rojas flies out, but we have tied the game with a huge fourth inning. Oh, my goodness. Machado strikes out. Paredes walks. Walk. A fielder's choice. And a strikeout. Okay. All right. Soroka looking okay after that shaky start. Nolan Jones singles. Doogie grounds into a fielder's choice. Langston grounds into a double play. Uh, I'm going to give Soroka the little bit here in the fifth. Hopefully he can get through the fifth for us. I'm not confident about it. Ground out. A solo shot. Oh, no. That's what I really couldn't afford to have happen. A pop-up and a fly-out. So they do take the lead. McMahon strikes out. Daza strikes out. Ford pops up. We're down by one. Machado doubles. Paredes flies out. Groshans. Yeah, he was caught stealing. He's going to third and a fly-out. Tovar is going to face Lucas Sims now. And he gets him to ground out. Brennan Rogers strikes out. Rojas does get out as well. Uh, another leadoff double from Trevino. A ground out, a fly out, and a fly out. All right, so the leadoff double doesn't hurt us yet again, but we can't keep giving up leadoff doubles. 
Top of the eighth. Nolan Jones is going to face AJ. Fly out. Doogie grounds out. Langston solo shot from Ben Langston. Let's go. The young first baseman is having himself a series. Ryan McMahon now strikes out. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to go to a pitching chains. We're going to go to... Do I dare go with Brad Hand? I'm going to keep Jason Foley in here. He's been so good for us. A strikeout. A flyout. And a flyout. We're now in the top of the ninth with a chance to take the lead with Jonathan Daza, Harry Ford, and Tovar coming up. I'm jumping in. Can I win it or will I blow it? Let's see. And the first pitch is going to be hittable. Daza gets enough on it, but it's not going to get beyond the left fielder there. Just no power. He's got the contact, but no power. And now we have Harry Ford at the plate. Um, I'm not going to pinch hit, but uh, it's one out, man. That's that's tough. And we are going to miss the PCI. It was good timing and a good pitch location. But we just completely miss it with the PCI. And it's going to be a pop-up to Jazz Chisholm. And now Ezekiel Tovar, who's 2 for 19 in the series, could be huge here if he just gets on base. We got to get on base and then see what happens. And a base hit up the middle for Ezekiel Tovar. We are on. The high slider is crushed with a perfect, perfect. A nice single there. We stay alive here with our chance to take the lead. He just hung that slider a little too high, and Tovar took care of it. And it goes right to Chisholm. It's not going to be extra bases, but hey, we got Brandon Rogers now at the plate. And we are going to weakly chop that one back up the middle. He's not. Is he going to get there in time? No, he's not. Brandon Rogers could not leg out the throw, and the Miami Marlins now have a chance to walk it off here in the bottom of the ninth. Let's do our best. They got the bottom of the order coming up, so, I mean, that's, that's our only hope right now. The 0-2 pitch now. He wants a low fastball. Can we get it just below the zone here, down and in? Uh, there we go. And it's going to hit the zone, but he doesn't call it. Oh my goodness, we're going to go down with the inside curve. And he's going to swing and miss on that one, so it doesn't matter. One set down here in the bottom of the ninth. A 1-2 count now. We're going to see if we can hit him with the curveball low and in again. And this time he swings and does connect with it. It's still a 1-2 count. We're going to go with the fastball down and in. So we can get him to swing over it. He, oh my goodness, that thing, that uh, did not like the location of that one. But let's go see if we can get the backdoor slider to catch the zone. And it rises, but it doesn't catch. All right, we're going to go up and in with another fastball. And we get him to swing underneath it. And we get the second out of the inning. A 2-2 two -two count here in the bottom of the ninth. Can we get the put out? The punch out, I should say. Uh, actually, can I? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to step off. I didn't want to throw a curve there. We're going to throw an up and in fastball. It's not going to catch the zone. A poor PCI by me. Um, so, all right, base runner on, but, you know, two outs. And a little pop-up. Ben Langston is there. No fanciness either this time. It was a little shuffle to get over there. Uh, but we now have Rojas, Jones, and Verdugo. The 1, 2, 3 up in extra innings. Oh, my God. Extra innings of the NLDS Game 5. And on the 3-1 pitch, the slider misses away. And we have a leadoff walk for Josh Rojas. And that's going to be snagged by the first baseman, but not in time to get uh, to Rojas at second. So we now have a runner in scoring position as the fielder's choice gets Jones out. But he does his job and gets one into scoring posi position for Doogie. And all of a sudden, you can see that pitching clutch now for Yancy Almonte. Um, it, it, it's, it's appeared. It's, it's reared its ugly head. And we got the Road Warrior and Rally Monkey for Alex Verdugo. Let's go with 96 clutch, 94 vision. Let's see if we can bring home a run with Doogie. He's 0 for 4 today. 1 for 5 would look a lot better, especially if it had an RBI. And that's going to be a base hit. Is that going to be enough to score him? Chisholm, I'm sending him home. Chisholm throws it. Is it going to be in time? It's not in time. And Doogie, it will be 1 for 5 with an RBI. That's huge. We have taken the lead here in the top of the 10th.
and just just a good hit a solid base hit Chisholm doesn't really have the arm to just gun him out from center field like that uh, J uh Josh Rojas has enough speed too with 57 um to just get home so there we go we've taken the lead Reynaldo Lopez now comes in uh in relief of Yenti Almonte and a swing and a miss on the up and in heat and sits down Ben Langston our best hitter by far uh Ryan McMahon now up hopefully we can uh I mean one more insurance marker would be huge but we got what we needed so far this inning and he's hit by the pitch. McMahon takes that one off the thigh. And we now have runners at first and second. Uh, right now, the Lopez's pitching clutch is pretty good. But we have unfazed Jonathan Daza and Rally Monkey as well. It's 76 contact, um, 89 vision. So let's see if we can get something. And that one was hung in the zone. Two outs. Is that going to be deep enough? It is Daza. It is deep enough. And that is a three-run shot from Jonathan Daza. Holy smokes. I know he doesn't have power or anything like that, but that thing just, just crept over the wall there. 405. I mean, I guess I shouldn't, like, bash it too much. It was just into the one of the deepest parts of the field there at left center. But it's three runs scored. And we have a massive lead here now in the NLDS. Game 5, 405, exit velo of 100. I mean, just it felt like it was hanging there. I really didn't want it to hang much longer, and it got out of the park, thankfully. And that one was in the middle of the plate. Is that going to drop? No, it's not. We go to the bottom of the 10th with a four-run lead after Yanavan Daza's three-run shot cracked it wide open. And a little blooping base hit. For the leadoff, Jose Azokar, as we brought in Chris Stratton, and they have a runner at first with nobody out. Whew, we do not want this to get tight at all. Let's just finish this out, Stratton. A 1-2 count now. Let's see if we can go with low and away with the sinker. Maybe get a double play ball? Oh, and he does foul it off. I was hoping that that would be the one that uh, we could get the, uh, the double play ball on. And there we go with a circle change. Swing and a miss. Low and away again. I'm just trying to get that double play ball uh, very much. But uh, we now have Jazz Chisholm to face. 0 for 4 today. Can we keep it quiet from his bat? 0 2 count. I'm going to go low and away with the slider. He does get a piece of it. I'm really, I'm really, really working for that uh, that double play ball to end the inning, and he's gonna watch it. He's gonna watch a pitch that's in the zone by, I mean, a good amount of fastball low and away, and now there's two out. A one-two count now. I'm gonna see if I can get him whiffing on something here, low and away. Ooh, it didn't really, I didn't really hit my spot. Let's see if we can get the slider out of the zone. Get him a swing on it. Man, he swung on both of those. Gets a foul tip on both of them, though. So let's go up in the zone. Tempting up and in. He's no. Oh, he, he thought about it, man. He thought about it. Let's go with the low and in circle change. Perfect pitch location, and we get the punch out, and we're into the NLCS to face the Los Angeles Dodgers. We knock off the Miami Marlins in five games. Holy smokes, guys. What a series that was. And absolutely playing with house money at this point. And the Cinderella story continues. We have just advanced out of the NLDS in our first postseason ever. What a what a series, man. That uh, It started off so rough. I, like I said, I just want to be competitive. We got absolutely smoked in game one. Um, and then, you know, we, it was really, really tight every other game. Uh, you can see after the 10-3, it was 4-3, 6-3, 1-5, and then 9-5 as we blew it open in the top of the ninth, or in the top of the 10th, excuse me. And we jumped into the ninth. But guys, that was an awesome series. And now we have, actually, it says Freed is going to be pitching. So... We might get freed back our our starters, our aces back for uh for the series here. Um and hopefully I mean I I'd love to see that. Like I said, I really don't think we're gonna beat the LA Dodgers. Like, come on, but uh um what a, what a run it's been so far. Uh, swept St. Louis in the wild card, went to the final game against Miami and pulled it out. How are we gonna fare against LA? Like I said, it's a Cinderella story, it's house money. Who knows, but I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy you guys have made it to this point in the video, so make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you guys in the NLCS. It's a free for all, free for all.